hello hello guys uh today we have a dell laptop that is turning on but not charging the battery anyway as always guys uh in a case where you have a laptop that is working and turning on but not charging the battery we have to check the first mosfet and then after that check the second mosfet and then after the second mosfet we have to check what you have to check the current the current the current center anyway this is a sequence the first mosfet one two is the second mosfet and number three is the current center anyway let me show you everything step by step under the microscope okay let me repeat this guys if any of those MOSFETs is shorted, meaning if uh, it allows power to pass one way, uh, then the laptop won't charge the battery at all. And sometimes it won't even turn on. But in this case, it's turning on. It's just that it's not charging what? It's not charging the battery. Anyway, we're going to start with the first MOSFET. That's how you check for a short while your multimeter is on the continuity mode. You have to be sure, you have to make sure that your multimeter is on the continuity mode. And let me repeat this again. We have to check the first MOSFET. After the second MOSFET, we have to check the second MOSFET. And if one of those, if one of these MOSFETs is shorted, I tell you, the laptop won't be able to charge the bed in this case it's turning on working fine but not charging the battery the client brought a brand new battery but unfortunately the laptop wasn't charging the new battery so to check for a shot we have to touch on both sides if it's beeping that will mean the MOSFET is shorted because it's gonna be allowing power to pass one way but in this case none of these MOSFETs are, are shorted so it means we are safe there is no problem with the mouse fat none of this are shorted okay and r05 that's your current center i even checked for shorts even though there was no need since the board was turning on but just to make sure you will never know i had to check for a short anyway guys as always you have to think you have to relax relax your brains and then come up with another method anyway i'm done with checking the dc in mosfet dc in mosfet are very very important all right so what i did here i think i remember very well uh, I was checking randomly, checking everything, but I remember that I have to show you everything under the microscope. So I had to show you guys what exactly I was checking. I was checking for shorts, you know, like random shots, around, around, around. And uh, this R005 is the current center for what? For a bed. So I had to check for a short. So you put one prop to ground and put the other one on top of the current center. And unfortunately, there was no short. On the, on what? On the, oh wait, there was a short. I made a mistake. There was a short on the current center. The current center there was shorted to ground when compared to what? To ground. So I remember very well. I had to look for a short and guys i've done some videos where i showed people how to detect a shot without any help of the microscope or the dc bench and here i was able to spot a shorted capacitor again without a help of what of a microscope or a dc bench power supply tell me about that capacitor right there that ceramic capacitor right there you can see it that ceramic capacitor right there guys it's problematic it's shorted you can see it definitely is the one causing what causing the problem
anyway uh in this case you have to remove that bad guy and then again you check on the current center if you still have a shot or or not Anyway, I didn't use any flaxy. You can use a flax, but in this case, I didn't use any flax, and I was able to remove that guy, even though it broke. Some of the pieces broke, hence why it was shorted. Né? It was broken. That exactly what happened. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm done. So I have to clean those pads and obvious guys you have to confirm whether you still have a shot or not so i have to confirm whether the shot was still there or not and what do you know there is no shot at all after removing that ceramic capacitor all right anyway uh that's how we solved this entire entire problem né? I'm not sure if it's gonna make any sense, but let me repeat again. Whenever you have a laptop that is not charging the battery, we have to start from the DC in. We have to check those MOSFETs from the from the DC from the DC in. So what you do is you check the first MOSFET and then you check the second MOSFET. After the second MOSFET, okay. Alright guys, the, sorry about that, uh, let me repeat again, I'm gonna repeat again, I have energy, so I'm gonna repeat again, I don't mind repeating over and over and over and over again, so I'm gonna repeat again, okay, let me show you, Alright, so whenever you are facing with a laptop that is not charging the battery, we have to check the first MOSFET, so MOSFET number one, whether it's shorted or not. And the only way to do that, we have to take a multimeter, put it into continuity mode or beeping mode, and you touch both sides, both sides, left and right, and you listen to your multimeter whether there is a continuity or not. If the MOSFET is working, there won't be any continuity. But if the MOSFET is dead, if it's dead, then definitely you will have a continuity because it will be allowing power to pass one way, even though it's not being told to do so, because it means it will be shorted. <laughs> Obvious, not shorted to ground, but just shorted. Okay, so. You do the same thing with MOSFET number two. You check for any uh, continuity or shots on that MOSFET. Anyway, that's how you check those two MOSFET. No need to check the current center. Obviously, you will have the continuity on that one, on the current center. <laughs> anyway, guys, I was putting everything back together. And let me repeat again our problem was the words was the current was the current center was there on the current center the problem was not the current center obvious because the current center is just a fuse okay i mean it's just a resistor all right a very a low resistor with a lower resistance it didn't resist that much it's only there to check how much uh power is been withdrawn by what by the mother board so they use the current the current sensors those resistors anyway here the problem was the shorted ceramic capacitor anyway guys um ho i hope you learned something anyway i'm done i will see you next time
Okay, uh, there we go. When you click on the battery icon, you can see 11% and the battery is charging. Anyway, I'm so happy guys. I'll see you. Bye-bye.